Alright then, um, off screen, I just went ahead and healed up. I also gave back the Quick Claw to Aron, and I just put Louder as my lead. So yeah, it is time to fight the fourth gym leader. Welcome. No, wait. Puny trainer! How good to see you made it here. I've been entrusted with the... No, wait. I am Flannery, and I'm the gym leader here. Uh... Dare not underestimate me, though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall... Uh... Demonstrate the hot moves we have owned on this land. So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, Flannery's sort of new to this. And yet she's still not the weakest gym leader out there. Anyway, I mentioned how I wouldn't say the movesets and such for all the Pokemon, but considering I have the guide right next to me anyway, and this guide has the movesets, although not the abilities specifically, I'll just say, yeah, leads off with a normal level 24 female, that's obvious. F fire ground, nose. Overheat, takedown, magnitude, and sunny day. If you, um... Started with Mudkip and you have Marsh Tomp, you'll have an easy time. Granted, Loudred seems to have an easy time with that also. You know, Marsh Tomp can just sweep with moves like Water Gun and Mud Shot. Alright, next up, I think she said... Or not she said, the game said Slugma. Watch out, it was camera up or something, though. And oh, spoilers, she has a camera up. Okay, Slugma. Female, level 24. It knows the moves. Overheat, Smog, Light Screen, and Sunny Day. Also, it's pure fire type in case you did, couldn't tell. I'll just go for Rock Tomb because it is slightly stronger with Stab. And nice, it actually hit. Alright, next up's her Camera Up. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll switch into Loudred for this. Alright, her camera ups fire ground, obviously. Female level 26. It knows the moves. Overheat, takedown, sunny day, and attract. And again, if my voice sounds different, it's because I'm looking in the opposite direction. Alright, then I'm just gonna go for strength. Hopefully that'll do a good amount. And not quite a 2 at KO. And of course, attract. Eh. I'll just switch into Squablu quickly, just to get rid of the attract, and I'll do as much damage as I can before it 1 KOs or whatnot. Wait, Tackle? Apparently this official Nintendo Power Guide on Emerald is wrong! It has Tackle! Wow. Um, alright then. I'll just go for Fury Attack, I guess. And I hit two times! Okay, there we go. There's Overheat. And I do want Arn to get some experience out of this, so I'll just send it out. Now with the Overheat, you know, having its attack, it won't do as much. But yeah, apparently this guide's wrong. That's another reason I don't like using guides, because they can be incorrect. And wow, it missed Tackle, because that would have done so much. And oh, sunny day. That could be annoying. And Camerupt is down. And Arn grew level 32. Hooray. Too bad that wasn't before the battle. But whatever. Alright, next up is Torkoal. Her final Pokemon, also her strongest. At least in terms of levels. Pure Fire. Um, female, level 29. Its moves are... Overheat, Sunny Day, Body Slam, and the Track. But of course, this could be wrong. 
Just like it was all those other times. But whatever. Just going for strength. And wow, that did a lot less than I was expecting. And overheat's gonna do a lot, isn't it? Yep. Oh, yeah! And it has a white herb, too. Great. I'm just gonna go into Ninkata for right now, just as heal fodder. Hopefully I'll go for overheat again, but it's probably not that stupid. Yep, 15 of them. Glad I could finally buy them. Oh, good! It is an idiot. Probably because Bug is weak against fire, it did that. Now it does have a special attack drop. And I'll just go get head in, go for a soda pop. Hopefully after that halved overheat, even with Sunny Day, it won't quite win a KO. Okay, good! And I'll just do one more Soda Pop. And yeah, now it pro even with Sunny Day, it won't be doing much. And yep, it switched to Body Slam. And good, didn't get paralysis, and the sunlight faded. Actually, let's see how much Shockwave does. Because Torkoal has lower special defense than physical defense. Okay, that did even less. This is probably going to take a while, but whatever. Actually, yeah. I'll just go for the Hyper Potion, might as well. And I'm surprised it took that long to actually get paralyzed. Now, hopefully, I can... And, of course, it gets a crit. Come on, defense drop. I get a crit, but not the defense drop. Thank you for that. I don't happen to have any four stores, do I? No, don't think so. Alright, then. I'll just go for a soda pop again. This is taking a while. I figure if I can get one more Rock Smash in, and if it lowers the defense, I'll be in the clear. Of course! I'll just let Loudred die for right now. I'll go into Aron. All right, Rock Tomb. Let's see, how well are you going to do? Come on. Ah! That's why I wanted the defense drop. Great. And Parahax, I'm not surprised. Yeah, this is taking a while. And, yeah, Piper Potion. I'm gonna use a Revive on Loudred. Hopefully, though, after all those special attack drops, Overheat won't do too much, and it's just going for Body Slam anyway. So, yeah, this Torco actually can be quite a pain. And it is going for Overheat. Alright, then. So yeah, now it has even lower special attack. The main problem now is going to be Body Slam and its Parahax. It just needs a couple of defense drops with Rock Smash. And of course I don't get one. Come on. Why won't you get defense drops? That's the one good thing Rock Smash does! Ah. Come on! 
That's at least the fourth Rock Smash I've done this match. Possibly fifth. And still not one defense drop? Oh, wait, I forget. Does its ability, White Smoke, prevent, like, any status drop? Well, no, because overheat. Sorry about that random cut. Um, just something froze quickly, but it's fine now. Also, just while that was happening, I just went ahead and checked. Turns out, White Smoke does prevent all stat drops from the opponent's moves. So yeah, I spent all that with nothing. And of course, it's going for attract. Why would you even be attracted to such a thing, Loudred? Come on. This is why I wish I had four restores. First I complained about the lack of revives, now I'm complaining about the lack of four restores. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna take this turn to use the Paralyze Heal on Aron. I'll heal up Loudred in a little bit. Yeah, I really wish um, I didn't level up in the middle of this battle. been instead before. Yeah. Now I just gotta hope no para hacks. Okay, good. What? Another hyper potion on the fourth gym leader. They don't even sell those yet, I don't think. Ah. Uh, I'm just gonna go for a dig. You better not have another one. I swear, if you have another one, I'm going to kill you in your sleep, Flannery! Ah. This battle is taking way longer than I was expecting. I mean, I didn't know Torko was going to be easy, but jeez! And again, I'm just going to take the turn to revive Loudred. And sunny day, I don't really care about that. And I'll just switch into Loudred right now. Watch how it's gonna use Body Slam and get Parahax. Oh, no, it's just an idiot. Watch how it's gonna struggle itself to death before I can actually kill it. Attract again. Ah, this battle is taking ages. Like, I wasn't expecting this video to be just as long, if not longer, than yesterday's video, but come on. Ah. I just need one more hit with strength, I think. Come on. Finally! Oh, that was horrible. Torka wasn't tough, it was just a pain to actually beat. Uh, I guess I was trying too hard. I, I've only recently become a gym leader. I try too hard to be someone I'm not. I have to do things my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. Much of that counts as character development considering the first time we talked to her was before, and... What? Aron is evolving! Congratulations! Your Aron evolved into Laron. And I also got the heat badge. Too bad it didn't evolve before the battle. That would make Oracle a lot easier to beat. If you have a heat badge, all Pokemon up to level... Now I'm sounding out like how she should be made. If you have a heat badge, all Pokemon up to level 40. Even those you get in trades from other people will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use the each and move strength outside of battle. This is a token of my appreciation. Don't be shy about taking it. And TM50, hooray. That TM contains overheat. 
That move inflicts serious damage on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the special attack of the Pokémon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. And registered earn the Pokémon. Anyway. Here is Laron. Hooray! And yeah, it does have very good defense. Attack is... It's decent for this... Yeah, attack is good for this point. Still not fully evolved. Defense is really good. Other stuff is like average, but still beats Aron by a mile. I'm certain teaching Overheat to Loudred, but I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe I will eventually. And now another voice. Ethan, long time no see. Oh, while I visited the hot springs, you got the Loverage Gym Badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And she gives us the Go Goggles. With those Go Goggles, you'll have no trouble getting through the desert near Route 111. But wow, Ethan, challenging gyms. You're trying hard because you don't want to lose to me, I bet. Ethan, I think I should challenge your dad in Edelberg Gym. See you again. I'm not getting better just so I can beat you. I've already beat you a million and a half times. I'm not particularly worried. And of course, a random call. I just want to get this video over with right now. Ugh. All right, then. We finally got our fourth badge. We can technically battle the fifth gym now, but there are a lot of various side quests to do. So next time, we will take on a couple of those. I'll see you then.